have a huge stack of books to show you. I don't know if they're new releases from February or March or whatever. Usborne just keeps like releasing so many books that I literally can't keep up. So have a huge stack of very exciting books to show you, starting with my favorite book ever printed by Usborne. It used to actually come in um, this slip case and they just reprinted it. It's much cheaper now. It's still the same gorgeous book. $17.95 and I'm telling you this is the best book I've ever read from Usborne. So A is for alpaca. It was a bad day for the animals at Alphabet Zoo and it began when the alpacas ate all the apples. And the illustrations are so fun. You can talk about all the little things that start with the letter A in the picture. The baboons wanted a big box of bananas, but had to make do with buns from the bin by the bench. So super cute. Every letter, um, it goes through all of the, the different animals, the different letters. And of course, in the end, we find out that the reason for all the chaos is that the zookeeper is sleeping. So anyways, I love it. I think it makes a fabulous gift. I think it makes a fabulous bedtime story. I just really, I can't say enough about the illustrated alphabet book. So these books are in no particular order, by the way. I just have a huge pile. We got four new little mini activity books. These are dueling books. So this one is dinosaurs. So you can just um, add to the pictures, add to the scenes. It has some really creative things for you to do. Like on this page, um, the dinosaur's family is out for a little holiday um, or they're going on their first day of school. They have funny faces. So you can draw all the little pictures. There's just really fun, unique ideas. So there's the doodling things that go, doodling people, and then doodling animals. These are great for on the go, um, little great add-on gifts if you're looking for a little extra something. Really love those. This book um, pretty much sold out the first day it was released. So I do apologize in advance. Um, it is out of stock right now, but if you do love it, make sure that you let me know because I can let you know as soon as it does come back or I can even just mail you one because I have two of them. So Poppy and Sam's Nature Spotting Book. So they are thinned cardboard pages. It is a farmyard tale book. So there is a little yellow duck hiding on every page, which makes these stories just a little bit more fun to read. This is all about nature, different things that you can spot outside. There's trees, there's bugs, there's birds, there's um, things in a pond, there's wildflowers. So really great book. Um, they have another book in the Poppy and Sam series that also came out just last week, I think it was, is the Poppy and Sam's Counting Book, which is also really fun. Again, it has the little yellow duck hiding on every page to find, but this one we are talking about counting and learning numbers. So can you count three cows? Can you count four pigs? And there's also four other things on the page. So there's four apples. There's um, four ladybugs. So you can have a lot of fun with these ones and just learn about numbers, learn about counting. And then of course we have all of the numbers at the end. This one, very, very excited about it. I love the phonics books. They make really great bedtime stories. They're great for kids learning how to read, but they're just fun and easy and the illust illustrations are great. I was actually really surprised because I wasn't expecting this story to end up how it did. So in the beginning, this um, snake actually works for a house cleaning company and he um, has a ladder and he goes from house to house and he cleans windows. And so he gets to this one, he has to clean Parrot Hall and he realizes that he, he had to climb so high he's a little bit dizzy and his head's starting to spin and he's just not so sure that this um, job is for him. And then all of a sudden, he hears people screaming because there is a fire next door and there's these rabbits that are trapped in the, in the house. And so he actually ends up taking his ladder over and he rescues them and then he takes a new job as a firefighter. So really, really love that. It's all rhyming. It's a very, very nice, easy to read story. 
We also got this Little Red Hen book. I love the story of the Little Red Hen. I think it sends a very, very good message about not being lazy, being helpful, um, being um, not just handed things in life, I guess. Um, it's small. It's about the size of my hand. And, of course, it's all about Little Red Hen, who has all of these friends, a duck, a rat, a cat, and she um, decides one day that she's going to plant some wheat. She's going to, um, I don't know if she decides in the beginning she wants to make bread. I don't know. Anyway, she plants wheat. She keeps asking her friends to help her um, with all the different things like planting and cutting and um, taking things to the market and getting the wheat um, make ground into flour and all those things, making the bread itself. And every time she asks her friends for help, they just keep saying no until the very end. Um, they want to help eat the bread and she says no way and she eats all by herself um, because, well, they just didn't deserve to have any. So super cute book. It is thin cardboard pages and it's just a really great story. Then we have a couple new sound books. This is the dinosaur sounds. On every page there are a couple different sound panels that you can push the button. Here's the sensor. Where is it? So you can read all about the dinosaurs and I like I like the illustrations. I like how bright and colorful they are. There's some peep holes in them, little finger holes. There's lots of different sensors to push on all the different pages. And then we also got, where is it? A new book in the Don't Tickle series. So this is Don't Tickle the Tiger. So on every page, it has a different little furry patch and you tickle it and then it makes sound. So. There's a tiger, there's a toucan, so there's lots of different ones to push, and then at the very end, you can hear all their sounds together if you push that button. What else do we have? I'm very excited about this one too. I think it's deceiving online. You have no idea how big it actually is. So it's like the size of four of my hands, big, and it has lots of finger trails, obviously, <laughs> and lots of ABCs. So alligator with an accordion, and these are all indented so that you can run your fingers through them and learn how to trace them. And it's just great for learning your ABCs, learning how to associate them with words and illustrations, matching them up with their sounds. And then it has does have all of these at the end. So you can um, run your fingers through them and learn how to write them. So love that one. We have two new stories in our sticker dolly collection. So I don't know how many we have of these already, like maybe seven or something. Um, the first page has a little um, bit of stickers so you can dress the girls in the beginning of the story. So you can add some color to their clothing. These are the little dolls. You can just put their outfits on them. I really love that at the beginning of every story, there's a map of Dolly Town. So when you're reading, you can go back and see where they are. And it's a very easy beginner chapter book, lots of pictures, and it's a great thing that you can read together. It's great for kids who are just beginning to read on their own. So we have Ice Palace and Castle in the Clouds. And then for the older kids, we have this new Adventures of Robin Hood graphic novel. My kids love the graphic novels. I think my girl's favorite one is Alice in Wonderland. Unhurry Magic Painting. So this is really great for just slowing down, taking time to relax, um, decompress a little bit, give your mind a break. So you just take the paintbrush, dip it in water, and... All of the color is built into the pages already, so you just have to add the water and then all of the pictures kind of come to life. So these are great for all ages. Babies can use them, toddlers can, well not babies, you know what I mean? But as soon as they can actually hold a paintbrush and not poke themselves in the eye, they can enjoy it. Um, all ages. My 15 year old loves magic painting. She was super pumped when she seen this one. And I also give them and sell them to lots of senior centers. Um, they are just really great for everyone. 
We have a new sticker book in the Sticker Dolly Dressing Series. This is Dancing Fairies. So this is a not reusable, but super fun. There's lots of stickers that you can put on and dress the ladies. <laughs> the ladies. The fairies. We have a new drawing and coloring pad. Some of you might know that this is not actually new. We've, we do have this already, but it's in a full size and they've just reprinted them, made them smaller, but made them so that they're double sided. So there is no wasted paper. On the back side of every sheet is another very similar sheet. Um, so you can just add on more color. You can add on more detail. You can make your own pictures. So there is lots and lots of sheets. Super fun. It's great um, for cat if you want to just add things to Easter baskets or if you have lots of kids and you want to share it. Those are really good. We have a new pop-up book. This is the nature one. And what's really cool is it has QR um, codes on the back. Most of our books have QR codes. But it will read the story to you, which is fun. Every page has really fun pop-outs. I think the illustrations are so beautiful. One of my very favorite series ever made, you can see them, I pretty much have all of them sitting behind me, is the Peep Inside series. And they've just come up with snowy places. So you can see all of the animals living in different places, Arctic foxes, polar bears, narwhals, penguins, so many things. There's lots of flaps in them. And I say that these are beginner information books, so you're gonna be learning lots about these different creatures. Look, here they are in the winter. Here they are in the spring. I just think the illustrations in these Peep Inside books are top notch. I love them so much. So that's the new Snowy Places book. We have another activity pad. This is Summer Puzzle Pad. So I would gear this probably ages if they're doing it alone, probably ages eight and up. But I feel like you could do most of the activities if you sit down and do them together with younger kids too. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like these activity books for myself. I'm always happy when my kids bring them on car rides and then don't feel like doing them. Lift the flap, grammar and punctuation. So it says on the back, this book will show you how English really works. Take language apart with the great grammar machine, find out what part does, what each part does and then put it back together again using the silly sentence maker. So it is a really great breakdown of grammar and punctuation. You talk about nouns and adjectives and verbs and adverbs and prepositions and determiners and just talks about sentences and clauses and conjunctions. And it really is um, great for homeschooling. It is great for helping with homework. It's just a really great resource to have on hand. And I love the silly sentence maker. Your kids can have fun just choosing one word out of each box and then creating fun different sentences. And these two kind of snuck into my pile. These are not new. This is just recently back in stock and I love it. So I just had reordered it. I have on hand, my, this is my son's favorite sticker book. I'm sure he's done it probably six or seven times. Every page has a different dinosaur on it. And you can see that it has mostly just like the skeletal bones and stuff like that. And then you add the stickers over top to build the dinosaur. It is his very favorite one. It's so fun. And then this one was actually a customer special this month. And it's the paper dragons to hold them fly. So on every page, it's, well not on every page, but at the beginning, it shows you how to fold all the different planes. And then every paper is color coded at the top. So you can see that this one is a blue one. So you'll follow the blue instructions um, and you get it. Like that's the purple one. So each one has different ones that associate with the lines on the pages to fold these different paper dragons. So super fun. We have lots of different fold and fly books. I don't know what's available right now, but there is lots to choose from normally. So there you go. Those are all of the new releases that I have next to me. As I said, Asborn just keeps sending more and more out. So 
Um, I can't really keep track of what I've shown already and what I haven't, but there you go. I hope that you love them. And if you ever have any questions about them, feel free to reach out and ask me. Have a great day, everyone.